Premier Ford put out a statement this morning saying that Canada is working to try and get an exemption from the U.S. order on uh, preventing the export of PPE. I'm wondering if you can pr- confirm that and expand on what exactly uh, these productive talks are about that you're having with the Americans. Um, yeah, exactly that. Uh, we believe that the flow of medical equipment through the supply chain between Canada and the United States needs to continue unimpeded. And that, of course, uh, is a two-way street. Both countries benefit from this, and both countries would lose out if uh, hurdles were to be put in the way of that flow of healthcare support between our two countries. Uh, We made that point in repeated conversations over the weekend and today. Uh, As the Prime Minister said, we feel we are being heard uh, and we look forward to a definitive resolution of this situation. It's in the interests of both countries to continue supporting each other when it comes to healthcare. Let me just add, we all, I also spoke to the uh, global CEO of 3M, Mike Roman, uh, who has been doing a great job. The company is taking a very, very responsible position. They understand the very special place they are in right now. And I would really like to commend the company for its approach and for its very constructive relationship with Canada. Alex, follow up. Just a, uh, yeah, the, the Prime Minister mentioned uh, shipments from other countries have been delayed and there's been stuff missing from shipments that have arrived. Do you have any more details on which countries had uh, shipped things that were delayed and, and exactly how much stuff has been missing from the shipments that have arrived uh, in recent days? Look, as uh, Minister Haidu, as Patty pointed out at one of uh, these press conferences last week, uh, It is really a wild west when it comes to buying medical supplies right now. This is a global pandemic, and every country in the world is doing its best uh, in a truly fierce competition to get medical equipment. Uh, Canada, uh, working very closely with all of our provinces, is working really, really hard in the international marketplace to get all the supplies we need. It's hard, uh, but that's why we have to work even harder. And it is also why I am so grateful to all of the Canadian manufacturers right across the country who are stepping up to figure out ways that we can make the medical equipment, the testing equipment that we need here in Canada. So it's a two-pronged approach. We are working hard. But it is absolutely uh, very, very tough right now. Thank you, Deputy Prime Minister. Operator, next question, please. Thank you, merci. La prochaine question de Marie Vassel. Next one, question from Marie Vassel, Le Devoir. Good morning, Ms. Freeland. I'd like to continue in French. Can you confirm that your government is seeking an exemption from the U.S. order that ceases the export of PPE? And you also said, can you tell us when you expect an answer in this respect from the U.S. or how much time you're willing to wait? Uh, Yes, I can confirm that Canada's position is that we must continue with the U.S. to have a flow of medical equipment which we've had until now. I'd like to highlight for Canadians what the Canadian government highlighted in their conversations with our U.S. counterparts, and that is this is a two-way street. Canada exports a lot of medical equipment, and we also have health care professionals that do extraordinary work in the U.S. It's good for Americans at the same time 
les États-Unis exportent the US des équipements médicaux, exports medical equipment that is necessary for us. We need to have continue to have this situation, which is in the interest of our, our two countries. It's a win-win situation that we have right now, and that is what we want to keep. We've had many conversations over the weekend, and we had them today as well on this issue. And these were positive conversations. And we do hope that it will be quickly possible to definitively solve this situation.